What's up everybody? It is Lance Muser and we are here to play some Starfield. We are enjoying the game. If you guys are playing the game, let us know down below uh, what platform you're playing it on and uh, how it's going so far. Um, we uh, we kind of did an update video uh, about how far we're into it and where we're at. We're actually um, right after that on this gameplay, so it may go up after that uh, uh, video where we kind of chat about our thoughts so far. But uh, yeah, we thought it'd be fun just to kind of do a Let's Play. Curious down below if you guys are interested in Let's Plays. Um, it's something, uh, yeah, we enjoy doing. So if it's something you're interested in, let us know down below. It's going to be a loud part. I'm pretty sure I got the game audio down. But, uh, yeah, real quick, just wanted to say uh, thanks for all the support. We really appreciate it. Uh, we see you guys subscribing and commenting. Uh, it means a lot to us. So, yeah, appreciate all the support. Check out our link tree in the description below. Join our Discord if you want to hang out and chat with some peeps about Starfield or pretty much anything else. Uh, yeah, and uh, let's jump in and kind of see what we want to do here. Uh, in good old Starfield. Um, I was doing some main quests quite a bit, but I think we're going to take a break from that. The My main quest is kind of split up into three different things, and I went and did this one quite a bit, but then it took me to like a level 10 area. Um, I'm level 7, um, and I actually just now uh, started spending my skill points because I was kind of banking them for a little bit to see what I wanted to do. Uh, but I did drop them into like some quality of life-ish skills or abilities like more oxygen. Um, I don't even remember. 5% uh, uh, things cost 5% less, sell for 10% more, that kind of stuff. I did do a, uh, a jet pack, but I guess I don't have a pack that has a, a jet pack on it. I think right now I'm carrying my high school or college, maybe college book bag, because it gives me 10% or 10 more uh, carrying capacity. Um, but anyways, so it's kind of where we're at. Um, I don't think we're going to do these main quests. I think we're going to do some side quest stuff in this play session. Um, these are kind of getting up into the level 10-ish plus area. And like I said, I'm just not quite there yet. Um, I actually think we might try to do this Mantis quest. Uh, shout out to uh, um, Velvet. He, uh, uh, we're, we're keeping spoilers to a minimum in our Starfield channel, uh, but we're sharing stuff and, and having a good time. And uh, he had mentioned this quest, and this was like a note that I found on a, a, a person and it, it basically you can see it says a dead spacer had a note about a secret outpost on Dinabola. I'm not real sure how to say that um, with a once in a lifetime opportunity is what it said I should investigate now we're going to try and do this one um, he told me I shouldn't need any upgrades to my ship but I did um, I did try to do this earlier and I thought it wasn't going to let me go there, but I think maybe I didn't have um, all everything I needed in my grav um, options on my spaceship because, of course, you have kind of like the spaceship uh, mechanics, if you will. But this was pretty far out here. This is maybe the furthest out that I've tried to go. I just I don't know if I can... Maybe I have to jump to other planets first. So let's go here. Don't believe I've ever been here. Jump. Might do our grab down there full. So we don't want to go here. This is going to give me a quest, I bet. We're going to get a quest pop on that. Really? I'm surprised we're not going to get a quest pop. We'll scan this planet real quick. There's actually a particular um, resource I'm looking for to build lights in my base and storage boxes. There's uh, one particular resource I don't have for each of those items all right let's jump back out um, we got some jumping to do here what is this did that automatically 
Hold on here. What quest do I have active? Oh yeah, so it automatically gave me that. Someone named Albin Lopez. Albin Lopez is sending a distress signal, a distress call asking for help from LIST. I could drop by and investigate. So I'm surprised it automatically activated that quest. So we're gonna continue to do this one. Go to the secret outpost. So I believe we have got to jump a bit more. Let's see if we can make it now. See, unexplored route. Doesn't let me go there, so I don't, maybe I am not, maybe I have to, let's try it. Do I have to jump here first? This is why I thought I, I needed an upgrade or something. Some of you probably know what's going on here. Restar. Restar Collective, I believe. Right, well, I haven't been. Have dude, see, this is what I'm talking about with this game. Look how cool this looks, dude. Like, this is where you start to feel fully immersed. It's just like, wow, this this looks cool. Got these ships flying in. Um, it, it definitely doesn't, like, No Man's Sky, you see a planet, you go to that planet. This is more like story like i know no man's sky has story and i was actually playing that game up until the release of this and and hopefully plan to jump back into it but this is like is the i guess the um realistic graphics and more of the story heavy lore heavy kind of thing um but the, you can see where this kind of just immerses you into the game right now um all right let's see what we got on this planet all right so let's see if we can jump a little bit further i don't know that we're gonna be able to i don't know if i'm missing something here i guess i can jump to here now let me try to real quick i'm gonna take down the shields oh what happened to my did i take that down on accident all right let's do that put the shields back up just pop the rest in engines let's back back out and see if we can jump further or if we're just gonna have to take this like one jump at a time yeah i guess maybe because it's a unexplored route route that i've gotta do it like this i don't know let me know down below if i'm missing something navigational feedback checks out we're in the right place it's an earthy looking planet I just want to like land on it. Hello, stranger. I just finished cooking up some food. If you want to come on over, just pop on by. Grandma? Are you serious? I know my parents. I've already visited my parents. All right, hold on a second here. If that was really Grandma, we might have to go visit Grandma. Um, activity. Miscellaneous. Did the quest not pop? Oh, I need to go do this. Um, yeah, I need to go do this. I I did this as my perk or whatever you want to call it. Uh, my dream home. I haven't done that yet. Now, see, I'm getting sidetracked here. This is so easy to do in this game. Um, I really thought I was gonna have a, let's see if it pops or something here. Let's leave the menu. We're really getting a lot done right now. This is how I'm 15 plus hours in and level seven. I'm not rushing it at all. No point in rushing it, right? Um, okay, let's see if maybe if we look around this planet, abandon. I'm so confused. I really thought maybe we were gonna. That did say grandma, didn't it? All right, let's focus back on what we were doing originally. So we're almost okay. We can jump there now. Let's go do this.
I'm actually gonna make a note of that. Must have been a good jump. We're still in one piece. Um, oops, what system was I in there? Let's jump back out. That was right down here. So the white obviously is where we've been. That planet was this one here. So I've got a little, uh, I talked about this in my um, 15 hours in, in our 15 hours in video, uh, kind of doing this little thing. I've done this to a certain degree with different games for a long time, but um, message from grandma, but no quest so far. I think I didn't, that did say grandma, right? I'm not, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what that said. Um, all right, let's jump back out. Let's see here if we can visit the secret outpost. Do a little uh, scanage. Wow. Ooh, I think there's materials I need on this planet. All right, let's land. Oh, I didn't even look to see what level this um, galaxy or solar system or whatever it is. United Colonies issues. Um, I've been reading all lore books and stuff. Curious where you guys are at in the game if you're rushing, not rushing, but cruising through it, or if you're just kind of taking your time. All right. Um, let's see here. What level is this place? Oh my goodness. Level 30? Dude. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do much in here. Well, but I'm curious how you did this. What level are you? What level are you guys? That's what I'm wondering. Um, okay, let's leave. Let's just see what happens here. Uh, let's just exit the ship. Oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen. It's all here. Oh, they're only level eight. Alright, that ain't gonna work. Here we go. I turned down the game audio just a smidge. Not sure, it might be a little loud. Maybe I just got it too loud in my ear. She always, she just want, wants to talk in the random, most random times. Uh, this outfit might be kind of cool. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Sorry, doing the, the loot check. If I could go to the right place. I'm just curious what the spacesuit looks like. Huh. Pretty sure I have that spacesuit already. Yeah, I have that spacesuit already. You can sell it for a pretty penny, though. I think it's almost 10,000 credits, if I remember right. We're just going to pick it back up. All right. Vasco blasting at him, too? I've got uh, Sarah in my party. I'm pretty sure that's a talk to her as an activity. Yeah, she just wants to talk again. She wanted to do that earlier. And we talked about some random stuff. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mind. But like I said, I have been playing this game very slowly. Checking out all the areas. Anybody else coming in? Let's see back what was up here. What we got? Gravity's a little crazy in this place. Frag grenades. Yeah, blow that up. 
All right. Doesn't look like there's much out here. Somebody is. Oh, okay. That was Vasco blasting in. Oh, what's this? A rare melee item, huh? Oh, wow. Don't really use the melee much, but I'll take it. I guess I didn't even search those guys. Maybe on the way out. So this quest said... Oh, wait. I landed. Spacer wanted me to leave the lair of the mantis before he attacked me. Mantis lair. There's a mystery here. All right. Let's see here. I saw one down there. Oh yeah, right there. 14. Oh my goodness, level 30. Okay. I don't have like a silenced weapon, I don't think, either. On top of that, do they see me right there? Yeah, they saw me. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with that level 30. Unlike... Oops. Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> Unlike the flank... Grenade. Why don't we throw one? Grenade seemed to do some damage. Alright, let's hit the shot. Can't blow those up, doesn't look like. Blow those up right there? No. Alright. There we go. Space trucker? Alright, we gotta take a look at that. Gotta love the high school backpack. Oh, pretty simple. I love this helmet that I have for this, uh, yeah, helm. All right, let's see what we got. I'm gonna assume we've got some level 30s elsewhere, probably, somewhere. All right, let's see if we got anything new. Ah, uh, see, here we go. I'll do those later. I won't bore you guys with reading. Actually, you know what? I mean, you guys might enjoy it if we read through it, right? Let's see. play how I've been playing um, let's see what else is in here before we do that we got an I read this one actually we'll take that one let's see if I read these the following is a passage from T.S. Eliot's Rhapsody on a Windy Night one of the poets earlier almost cynical works the lamp hummed regard the moon la lune la neg Garde, yeah, I'm gonna even try that. She winks a feeble eye. She smiles into corners. She smooths the hair of the grass. The moon has lost her memory. A washed out smallpox cracks her face. Her hands twist a paper rose that smells 
of dust and old cologne. She is alone with all the old nocturnal smells that cross and cross across her brain. Some of these um, obviously are just like uh, fictional things. Um, I like the ones that tell you the lore of the, the, I mean, I know they kind of do in a way uh, their place in the universe, but the ones that, you know, add to the lore of the story of the game. The Tale of Two Cities, book the first, recall it the life, the period, it was the best times, best of times, it was the worst of times, it was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness, it was the uh, epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity. Make sure, probably not saying some of these right. It was the season of light, it was the season of darkness, it was the spring of hope. It was the winter of despair. We had everything before us. We had nothing before us. We were all going direct to heaven. We were all going direct the other way. In short, the period was so far like the present period that some of its noisiest authorities insisted on its being received for good or for evil in the super superlative degree of comparison only. Charles Dickens' classic novel, Society War, Class and Family, continues for a total of 341 pages. Um, I wonder if did like is that stuff just fair game or did they have to get licensing for some of this stuff or copyright? Learn more about the Lair of the Mantis. Explore the Lair of the Mantis. All right. I wonder how big this place is. Uh, dude, right here looks like there wasn't a. Oh man, uh, you read that? Okay, I'm wondering if we're gonna run. I haven't really seen like many creatures so far yet. What is this stuff? Oh, listen to that. This lair is a gold mine. The mantis was loaded, the salvage top notch, and the good stuff's gotta be further in. That the payout's going to be extreme, just got to survive until then. Traps took out Carver and Yang. Uh, I could be saying that wrong. Livy volunteered a couple of others from Iron Dave's crew. Poor blah blah. Just got to stay off Livy's radar. Keep it family family friendly. Uh, we read that. What is this? Oh, got one of those already. All right. Let's see here. Oh. Oh. Family friendly, at least from a language standpoint. This game isn't too visceral. You're doing well, Leon. Almost there. I know. Things have been difficult. The mantle of the mantis is a heavy burden. But you can do so much good. Spacers and pirates need someone to fear. Someone to check them. To make them realize. See what she's saying. Oh.
A lot of random lore in here. So met with a lawyer and was prepared to All right. Let's see what else we got. Wonder how big this place is. Expert. Can't do that, so I'm gonna make a note here real quick. What planet are we on? Let's see here. Just keeping notes on this stuff. I can type. All right. Moving on. Is that all we got over here? Crazy how quick, how long these videos get. Almost 30 minutes already. I haven't hardly even done anything. Is that the one that I just looked at? Oh no, that's a different one. I don't think I have that one. I'll take those. What's my weight at? Oh, we still got a little bit of room. I'm trying to figure out too between the outpost of ship and stuff like that, like what I can, uh, how I can make carry and stuff a bit more efficient. And what that is a powerful combat enhancer. Oh wow. Okay, we keep that. I hop between third person and first person a lot. Bunch of ammo. Don't have a ton anymore. Not getting any ammo for my current weapon. Found Leon's body. Looks like one of the blah traps got him. Two big fight over his body until Iron Dave broke it up. Managed to grab his cred stick though, so bonus. Gotta wonder if the Mantis's own son got nixed. How can we do any better? Interesting. We're going to jump down here to weapons and we've got this one now. So we're going to get rid of this one, I suppose. There may be a reason not to do that, but that's what we're going to do for now. It's a pretty uh, linear area, at least for now. Ah. We're gonna have to switch weapons. Yep. So 
See if I have any. Yeah, I've got rounds for this energy weapon, laser weapon. This weapon's pretty cool. I like this one. Chair and couch. Okay. So they say mom. Bounty hunter spacesuit? That sounds cool. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I'll keep that. Oh, I'm about to be over encumbered. Advanced navigator space helmet. Isn't that what I have on? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, my health. Not quite sure how that happened so quick. Sorry, Sarah. Let's try this thing. Is this like a sniper rifle? Rare rifle. Oh yeah, we'll do this. Hoping that was a uh, explosive. Talk to Livy. Learn more about the Lair of the Mantis. How do I talk? Them. They're gonna attack me, man. Hmm, let's see if they've got anything worth Oh, they're actually like NPCs. Okay. Let's search here just a little bit. Is all this stuff?
Ooh, what's that? Thanks for taking time to chat. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. I really need a friendly ear right about now. What a great time. A message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. Not at all. It's just a list of requests, but when you read between the lines... What a great time to accidentally talk to her. ...my absence is causing issues. No, it's the first time. But the fact that they're reaching out, well, it's given me a lot to think about. Something like that. <laughs> Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps. Until the UC decided to axe the department. Uh, must have been painful. Eight years isn't a bad run. What exactly was the Navigator Corps? It was a branch of the United Colonies Navy. A small fleet of ships outfitted for galactic exploration. Basically, a military version of Constellation. What does this have to do? Let's see. If you want to help, I feel like I need to give you some background. All right. Yeah, sure. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. Seriously? The colony war, of course. Whoa. You know, that little incident that caused the death of thousands of decent men and women as they squabbled over border disputes? That war. Man, she is telling us. Here, let's do this. <laughs> yeah? You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. Oh, because of my lack of foresight, all I ended up with was a shattered division and a bunch of excuses. Sorry if the game audio is a little bit quieter. I keep it down a little bit for the commentary, but let's see. No one will push harder than you. No matter how hard you fight, there are some battles you can't win. It's obvious the military wasn't your calling. Your division never had a single significant discovery. Uh, I think we can do this and then pick one of the other ones. That depends on your definition of significant. Discover a rare neutron star, and no one cares. But slap a picture of a kooky alien life form on SSNN, and suddenly you're a goddamn rock star. It's all about the propaganda, what gets the people excited. <sighs> That's what the United Colonies was focused on at the time. That's just it, though. Did I push too hard? Did they shut us down because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. Well, that brings us to this message now, doesn't it? Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority. But all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure the accounts are balanced. You're afraid that your absence will cause customers to collapse. Maybe you should resign your position as chair and just explore. We should put this aside for now and concentrate on our mission. Yeah, but we won't do that. Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Mateo. Oh, they must be itching to look at. We'll figure this out together. Sorry, I pushed so hard. Hey, you're the one who wanted to talk. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are. You have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that...
Oh, of course you aren't. Just the fact that you took time to li look. Um, I've already taken up too much of your time, but thank you for being there and listening. All right, I don't like that character building We're right in the middle of a exciting mission. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's see here. Find anything useful? Okay. Let's talk here. What happened to my other person? Oh, they're down there. Here we go. Wait, wait, don't shoot. I am unarmed. Look, we can help each other. I can be useful. Just don't kill me. Livy, and I mean you, uh, no harm. This place was full of traps. Traps everywhere. I removed them. But this... This corridor is just too dangerous. See? Looks normal. One step inside, slam! You are trapped. And nobody's been standing after the doors reopen. No, sorry. If I tell you that, then I lose their ingenious. Took a, a lot of lives to tease them out. It's true. So many of my crewmates are gone. This corridor is the worst. But I figured it out. There are letters on the floor. It is a grid. Those letters must spell something. But there are so many words for small phrases. Five, six. It's hard to find. So many different things in this game. I really this thought we had it with M Mantis. Rabbit holes to go down. Poor Fred. Nobody else here figured that out. See, I've been helpful. Didn't mean it that way, buddy. You could let me go. Or better, I can help. I know these traps. I know how this mantis thing. Please let me help. And just give me a taste of the cat. I like to think of myself as a merciful person. And I love giving people the benefit of the doubt. But I don't know about this one. Trust is maybe too strong a word. We need each other, so we use it. Then, when the arrangement is no good... I have sacrificed. Really? What does the quest say here? Learn more about the Lair of the Mantis. Explore the Lair of the Mantis. Okay. I feel like I should save it or something. Alright. I don't know that we're going to figure this out in this video. It is about time to crash. That's why we saved it. <laughs> so, obviously, letters on the floor. Uh, be sure to obtain the most valuable minerals. Um, okay. I'm not real sure. Over encumbered as well. I really don't know. That I probably missed a clue already of what this would be. Uh, master computer as well. Uh, master computer locked. All right. Let's see. Maybe we could have used him. I mean, I really have at this point no idea. what the words would be unless it's all 
Oh, I think I missed. I can't get into the computer back here. I miss any computers anywhere? think so. Alright, we gotta drop something here. I don't think I need that. Alright. Not real sure here. Yeah, they don't play around. I wonder if they shut off. I was trying to think maybe if it was like something with the planet or layer or mantis or. Uh, that just seems a bit too obvious. Level 46 turret. Wow. All right. We may uh, continue this video and or, I don't know, we may be somewhere totally different the next time we do a commentated playthrough. But I am i don't think we can jump over this stuff, can we? Nope. <laughs> ah, stuck. I'm stuck. All right, we're going to have some fun here real quick and just try to run down there. And then after that, we're going to call it. This video has already been almost 50 minutes. Um, Do they have health bars? Looked like they did. I don't know. Oh, you can even hold your breath. Oh, I wonder if I can... Are those explosive? Oh, they are, but it didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're going to try and run down to the end. And then we're going to call it. This is totally not going to work, but it's totally worth a try. Ready, go! Oh my goodness. Hey, I made it way further and longer than I thought I was going to. We're going to do that again and hit the button. See if we can hit that button. No way. Wow, I did not think that was going to work. Too funny. Why am I? Oh, because I dropped that after I saved it. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I did not think that was going to work. Interesting. Is there anything else in here? I assumed like you had to walk on the right letters. Oh, hello. No, <laughs> they're everywhere. Oh, man. All right, let's do this again now that we know that. We're going to call it here in just a minute. A couple minutes. Oh, it saved it once we got through. Okay. Expert lock. It's probably how you get in there and turn them off, I'm guessing. Go. Oh, I need to actually get some health, maybe. That might be smart, huh? Alright. Whoa! 
Oh boy, I don't think we're ready for this. Can I shut the door? Can I get out of scan mode? That'd be great. Oh my goodness. This is, I am not prepared for this. Why do I keep going into scan mode on accident? Okay, I'm not prepared for this. Not quite the level I need to be. Velvet, how did you beat this? What level are you, dude? All right, on that note, this has been a fun one. We're going to call it. I'm not real sure. I'm going to have to like run out of here because I am not prepared for this. Let's save it. Do a fresh save. All right, that was fun, guys. A lot of fun. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Let us know if you're playing Starfield down below, what you think of the game so far. Um, we're going to probably come back to this area, uh, maybe when we're a little higher than level 8. Um, we just keep running into higher level stuff and higher level stuff. But uh, yeah, anyways, thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks so much for checking out our channel, checking out our content. Be sure and check out uh, our link tree. Jump in our Discord. Come hang out with all of us in here and let's chat some Starfield and some other stuff. Uh, but anyways, yeah, thanks for hanging out. And as always, until next time, take care.